Hey guys, how's it going? It's Torment here. So I haven't seen too many videos on passing in Rocket League. So I thought, hey, why not? Maybe I'll make a video. This should be a very simple video, but it's good for practicing and, you know, getting like the fundamental skills on passing. So if you're an advanced player, this might not help you at all. Uh, you might already know how, exactly how to do this, but if you think it might help you, you might as well stick around. And yeah, we're just going to get right into it. So obviously you improve by doing the mechanic a bunch of times. Obviously, like in anything, you just keep doing it a bunch of times. You're going to get better at it. So with this, you're going to keep repeating repetitive actions. Like if you've ever played like sports or maybe some other things, like you keep doing the same thing over and over again, eventually you get the muscle memory down and you instinctually do it. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to go into my training and I made a training pack. It's really simple and you could probably make one yourself too that could be custom or tailor made for you. There's only five shots. I made it really quick. Honestly, one of the easiest training packs I've ever made because it's not really that advanced and you might find this really easy, but... Right here, you see this ball is going to pop straight up, and that looks like an open shot, or you can dribble or whatever. But here, we're gonna every time we go for it, we're going to turn, and we're just going to tap it to the right. And imagine we have a teammate over there in the corner. So like, imagine your teammate is like running up like these boost lines, I guess. Like right here, waiting for your pass. And you're going to try to hit it over to him. And like try to weed him a little bit. That's probably not that great, but like keep switching sides if you want. You can do whatever you want. You can even like drop it lower. Like, just imagine where your teammate is. Even a backward pass. I don't know if I can get a backward pass on this. Yeah, backward pass could work too. Like, honestly, all these shots you can also backward pass. Depends on the situation and what you think is best, which comes with playing more also. So, you got to do that as well. You got to try these in game. But this is good for, like, the fundamental skills and practices. So, here, this is, like, coming, like, your last man back and you have, like, a clear down. So, you're just going to imagine you have teammates on each side. And you're just going to try to, like, hit it imagine where they are. You can even just, like, roll one to the right if the teammate's closer. Try to make it handleable, or handleable, is that a word? Just make it easy to handle for a teammate, imagining where they are. And the more you do this, the more you'll probably get better at like hitting those exact spots, because passing's pretty precise, you gotta know exactly where your teammates are, and know how to weed them and make it so it's a shootable ball. Um, this is for direct passing mostly. Backboards are a little more broad. This one right here, this is like more of a wall hit. I kind of go for it and you just try to hit it down to the left. I'm imagining my teammates around like midfield for these right here. And he should be able to, or whoever it is, should be able to get some sort of hit on most of these. You can even like pop it out high. It's a little too high probably for most situations, but yeah. Usually like if you get a hit like that, a defender is going to get it really easily in net. So like just dropping a pass down to a teammate that's in the middle right here is really beneficial for your team. And yeah, so it's gonna try the, the next two. This one's more of like a really uh, ground pass kind of like either this could be so that ball coming from the corner could either be a pass from a teammate or it could be just a bad hit from the other team. But you can imagine as either. So imagine like my teammate hits it out, he's still there, and I can hit it. That's actually not good. You hit it like right back to him. Maybe even wait for like a follow up pass. Obviously, there's no one there because this is a training. But you can like practice the passes like this or an across pass. But yeah, these are actually, this is really simple. Like it's literally just a ball rolling and obviously you can take a shot, but you know, the more you do these, if you're a lower level player and you don't really pass that much and you don't know how to, uh, this could be how you start. Also, that could be hard because you might not have teammates that are in very good positions. This one's similar to the other one, just like a little harder and higher. But yeah, you might not have teammates that are in positions for it, but you might, you might need to find like friends or just people in the game that are willing to like you know improve these skills with you and just basically hitting the ball each side switching back and forth eventually you'll probably have really good control of this um, and practice getting better hits and yeah that's basically it so this is a really simple training pack if you want to you can also make your own like just balls rolling in certain situations you can I could honestly probably made a pack of like a hundred shots of just different passing situ situations they probably a lot of them would have been similar but you know there you go. Passing practice. Uh, this could help somebody. If this, if this helped you, make sure to let me know. I'm not really sure if this helped because I have all this stuff down. I don't know if like if everybody's good at this or not. But I thought this is one way you could actually just improve that muscle memory. And yeah, also another thing. I think I said this before, but you got to kind of get into the games and also get the feel of it there. Because obviously when there's people challenging you, you're not going to have the same exact uh, space or like situation as you know when you're in a training. 
obviously that's the same for all trainings like the way you practice like a backboard shot training or like a redirect training or something like that and yeah just get into the games and try to you might have to like beat defenders in games and stuff but try to get passes just be more pass orientated it's usually just better for your team in general and helps keep ball possession you know not give the ball away you know just get more goal opportunities as well and maybe your teammates are actually some pretty good shooters they just don't get enough passes themselves so all right so real quick i'm going to show you guys one example of a good passing play that kind of shows how these skills get put into action in an actual game and how you know this actually gets executed against other top level players so right off the bat we're going to see gimmick gets beat on a challenge and it goes off the backboard and right there i see gimmick and i hit it down to him and you know as i hit it down to him he sees squishies moving up across and he ends up just putting it in the goal so we'll kind of watch it again we'll watch it in slow motion actually and you can see right here i purposely get it on the right side of my car so it goes over to gimmick and he weeds squishy here but not far enough that he couldn't reach it or that King Wizard could get the challenge. King Wizard was also backwards, so he ends up getting uh, messed up by it and not able to block it. And Gimmick getting that pass also beat Waz, who I believe was moving up. And yeah, that's just one example of how you know you connect two of these together and you get a really good passing play and you get a really good goal that is pretty hard to stop. They looked pretty uh, all over the place on that defense because we were just doing it pretty fast and it's just hard to read in general. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.